Hello everyone. Now let me show you this paper thin microscope called the Foldscope. This can be made like origami at home like you make origami. This one has been pre-made. However, you can make it at home using all the components that come in the Foldscope package. This one is easy to carry. You can carry it to your field work and observe whatever you want to observe. It is not as heavy as a traditional microscope. This one uses optical and mechanical components to magnify an image about 140 times. Foldscope is cheap, portable and very easy to use. And you can observe your specimen on a thin paper as a slide. So now you do not have to carry your glass slides and cover slips for making a slide. So let us now see how this Foldscope works. As you can see this is made up of paper and it is using certain components which have been folded together to make this structure. Now this entire thing comes in separate pieces. You have to put them together to get the structure right. Now here this part as we open it is the lens. So this is the lens here. This is a condenser which is used to focus the light on the specimen. When we place the condenser over the lens, this condenser takes the light, whichever source of light you're using, it takes the light and focusing, focuses it on the specimen which is present on top of this. And then from the other side, you can view the specimen. Now here, there are these flaps as you can see. So you can move the stage. So this is, I, this is what I'm calling the stage because this contains the lenses and this will also contain the slide on this side, right? So you can move the stage sideways. You can also move it up and down in order to be able to see the different regions of the field. Along with that, you might have to adjust a focus a little bit. Now, we know that adjusting for adjusting the focus in a compound microscope or in a simple microscope, we have a screw. But here we don't have that. What we have is this piece of paper again. Now, if you look closely, this piece of paper is wide on one side and narrow on the other side. So when you are pushing this piece of paper this way, the wider side is pushing the lens up or away from the specimen as a result of which the gap between the specimen and the lens increases and therefore the focus changes. The moment you push this out, which means that the narrower part comes here, now the distance between the specimen and the lens decreases as a result of which the focus also changes. So first and foremost, we'll observe a prepared slide. This one is the slide of onion peel. Now we have already observed onion peel under the compound microscope and we have seen how it looks in high power and low power. Now let us see this one under our new fold scope and see how this one looks. So this is how the section would look like as you can see the cells. Although it is not as clear as the high power microscope but you can of course change the focus a little bit and you can take pictures if you want. Also, just to let you know, the light is coming from below. So see, if I put my hand below and the light is not there, you can't see the specimen. So this is also operating at this, with the same mechanism of a light microscope where light is used as a source of illumination. And if I put my hand here and block the light, the specimen is not visible. So as you can see, under the full scope, the onion peel looks more or less similar to that under the low power of a compound microscope. So this one has a magnification of 140x whereas the low power of a compound microscope usually has a magnification of 100x. Okay friends, so now we are going to prepare a new slide of this flower. We are going to observe the petal of this flower and make a slide and observe it under our fold scope. A quick fun fact about this flower. This is Lantana camera, a flower which was the garden flower in Mexico. However, this was brought to India somehow and then the climatic conditions of India suited it so well that this one has now become a weed. Now, let us quickly make a slide taking a petal of this flower and observe it under our new foldscope. So now we'll be preparing a slide of this 
flower and we are going to prepare a slide of the petal of this flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one flower from here and take a small portion of the petal. I'm going to take one flower from here because this is an inflorescence. I'm going to take one flower from here and the petal but before that I will be using these tapes that are provided with our microscope and this paper slide. So the technique is that we are going to strip out one tape all right like this and we are going to use this we are going to paste the petal on this tape and then paste the tape on our slide in this cavity in this small portion that is given here we are going to paste it. So let me first take out the petal. So I have taken out this flower and I am going to take out the petal. I do not want anything to be too opaque because being too opaque will only make it block the light. I do not want it to block the light so I am going to take it. I am keeping it here. Now I will be taking a strip of paper, the tape that has been provided. paste it here and on the opposite side I will be pasting my petal. Spread it out so that light can pass through it. All right. Now I will be using another strip and I will secure it it on the opposite side so that my slide is now ready. Now I will be observing the slide. So for that open the flap, take out the slide that is already there, take the slide that you have created, put it in the fold. Secure it on the opposite side, put the flap back and observe it from this side. Let us see how it looks like. So now that our slide is fit inside the fold scope and we have everything ready, let's observe this. Now how do we observe this? For this you will have to take this blue side of the fold scope, this is the yellow side, that's the blue side. You have to take the blue side of the fold scope facing yourself and locate any source of light. Now that can be a uh, tube light or a lamp but try and avoid uh, looking staring uh, directly at the sunlight because that might uh, be a little blinding for you. So what we'll do is we'll face hold this full scope towards a tube light an artificial source of light and then that light will come in come out of your um, specimen and fall on your retina. So we are going to observe it here. And you can adjust according to your requirement, you can adjust the focus and the positioning of the slide so that you can easily observe them. Now let us see if we can use our favorite device, our mobile phone with our new best friend, the Foldscope and pair them up. So let us look at this component which we will use to stick it to the lens of our phone and then we will see if we can capture some beautiful pictures of the slide that we have made. So this is how it looks like with your phone, the petal. I can take pictures if I want. I can move around and see the rest of the structure. So you can see the rest of the petal if you want. You can see the veins, you can see the striations here. And that is how it looks like under our fold scope. So that was the lightweight, easy to use paper microscope called fold scope. Now in no way is it a comparison to this because here you can see a much higher magnification. However, sometimes our curious minds want to see things around us immediately with a greater magnification. So this one is a substitute for a simple microscope that you can use at home or at school or if you have gone to a field work where you do not carry a compound microscope with you. So try it, use it and you will see the world around you in a totally different light.